Round two and starting to oh, another kick. All right, here she is, big time feel. No surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits atop the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you gotta see what Ronda Rousey just did, and it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey, back and perhaps with a point to prove real time. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the challenger, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Christian Cyborg Justino. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. Well, DC, it's hard to believe that this fight was actually finally made. A lot of us felt like Ronda Rousey wasn't going to be able to enjoy retirement without at least trying to conquer Chris Cyborg. She gets her back to me. She finally gets the opportunity. Cyborg kept calling her name, calling her name, calling her name. And at her core, Ronda Rousey is a competitor. So when she gets challenged, she gets back to action. Tonight, she finally gets to shut the mouth of Chris Cyborg. Well, Rousey. 
houses. Well, she said she was gonna go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants. She said when and where she decides she's gonna be able to secure takedown. She does exactly that very early in the first round. Now potentially working on a submission instead. And attack an armbar. Nicely done. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Oh, big punch land. And they separate. Back and forth we go. Sometimes with the knee strikes, it's one and done. That is not the case with this young lady tonight. Her opponent has not deterred her. She's been everywhere she wants. She's hurt very bad. I don't know if she's gonna be able to recover from this. Oh! Alright, so there she goes, taking the fight to the ground yet again. She looked you right in your eye at our fighter meeting on Thursday. She said, I'm going to be able to take her down at will, and largely that's how it's played out. She said we were going to be impressed, and to this point, I really have been. She has done a great job of mixing up the takedowns, mixing up the attempts, and getting the fight exactly where she wants. Well, Rousey's right back to the full mount here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Fifteen seconds. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Round two underway. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Oh, nice level change. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Oh, nice job by her there. Opponent may be expecting that right hand. She goes with the left. You start thinking one thing, she will hit you with the other. Well, Rousey's back in half goal. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Man, she is just nonstop. Rousey's trying for a Kimura here. Full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Rousey, ooh, nice trip by her there to get the takedown. I would think a lot of fighters would be susceptible to that type of takedown in a clinch situation. She tricks you, right? Because she has you thinking hip tossing the moment you take your hip back and create space. Boom. There goes those beautiful trips. 
fantastic judo player we have when we watch this young lady. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to fall. Oh, another takedown secured by Rousey. All right, she's got north-south position now, DC. We don't see a lot of north-south chokes in the UFC, but what is she trying to do here from what is a dominant position? Well, you know, it's, it, the north-south choke is very difficult because everybody is... Looks like she's trying to set up a sub here. Attacking on bar. She is her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground upon. Money in the bank. All right, full guard now, DC. And just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move to half guard, then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the grappling. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here too. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Rousey gets the takedown, and this might just be a matter of time. defense there in full guard now DC and I know when you're in this position you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick oh absolutely trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound this is exactly what she needs to do not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard so get the half land some ground and pound get posture and then continue to dominate on the ground all right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Nice land there with the right punch. Easy to see why that is her weapon of choice. Great right hand. Nice land. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get trying to set up a submission now. Gotta be careful, Arbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Rousey. And she's back up again, so the takedowns have been there. So have the get -ups. Rousey's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice. Nice. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Left hand punch in the clinch. Nice. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Seibel. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Rousey. All right, so we now look back into the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. 
But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway. And now is the time, DC, where the endurance, the cardio, and the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the skill level, but also the mental level, the emotional level. It takes a lot to get through round four and five. If both of these women are going to have to ace the test if they want to get their hand raised at the end of the night. Oh, huge deep So she holds on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Straight punch lands. And she lands the knee to the body now. Oh, and she lands another punch here, and you can tell at this point she's targeting the cut on her opponent's hand. As she should be. She should be targeting the cut. It's there. That is her work, right? That was not an accident. Her opponent did not fall down and cut her eye. One of her strikes cut her eye, and now she's going to continue to put damage on that cut. Back in the clinch now. Ty clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. Judo toss is good. He's trying for the Kimura submission here. And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time. But her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. Squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Get attacking on ball. Just be a matter of time. Buzzer sounds for the end of the round. All right, side control for her now, and you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me your back. right hand upstairs. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Rousey. Great action to get to that takedown. Attempting an arm bar here. Attacking arm bar.
She's got her in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the bottom fighter, nothing advantageous about it. It's not a good position to be in when you're in the bottom position. You've got to try to force some sort of improvement. You've got to force some sort of action that will allow you to return to your feet. It's very tough. It's very difficult. But if you're patient, there will be an out presented to you at some point. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh, nice ankle pick. Great timing, better execution. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Obvious redness now on the left side of her body, courtesy of those body kicks. Nice punch there by Cyborg. Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe, right on the chin. Big punch to the clinch. Best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. And they separate. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Well, Rousey's back in half guard. Gets up again here, but her. He gets caught with that punch. 20 seconds left. And she's back in the clinch. Nice elbow. That's how you put it. Well, as expected, nothing easy about it. The fight goes the full 25-minute distance. Could be looking at a split decision here, Daniel. A very close fight. I mean, this is uncomfortable. I've sat there before, walking yeah. to the middle of the octagon in a title fight as the champion, not knowing if I had done enough to win. This is a nervous feeling, but I believe the champ did just enough to keep the belt. First buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 49-46, Rousey. Judge two scores it, 9-46, Justino. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision. And still! So there she is, the and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. As many of you guys know, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit in recent UFC history. But on the strength of this effort here tonight, perhaps she can hold it down for some time. This was a big effort over 25 minutes.